aggressive this ring generalship good defense it was all Floyd Mayweather he deserves to win this fight by a wide margin and now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen here at the MGM Grand we go to the Budweiser scorecards John Keane and Daniel Vanderbilt is scored about 119 to 108 Chuck Jampa scores at 118 to 109 for the winner and still the undefeated champion, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. So Mayweather remains unbeaten as did another 130-pound titleist earlier this evening, Diego Chico Corrales. Big smile on the face of Floyd Mayweather Sr., who has been through some rough times, having been dismissed, more or less, by his son. His manager, actually, Floyd Jr. said to us yesterday, get this straight, my dad was never really my manager. But most of the boxing world saw him that way. Nevertheless, business upheaval and change leads to no diminution of skills in the ring and Floyd Jr. cruises to a unanimous decision victory. Final punch stat numbers will show Floyd Jr.'s punching accuracy as he landed 42% of his overall punch output, throwing more than Vargas, landing more than Vargas, landing at a higher percentage rate, and by and large, landing the more effective blows throughout the fight. And Larry Merchant stands by with Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the ring. All right, thank you, guys. Floyd, congratulations. More difficult fight than we anticipated. Uh, not at all. I knew Goya Vargas was a, a tough opponent, ex-champion. But first of all, I want to thank God for this victory. And um, thank Team Mayweather and thank Grant. Did you hurt your hand somewhere late in the fight? To be honest, I came to this fight with um, a messed up right hand. But I didn't want to have no excuse for uh, backing out because I'm a true champion and I come to fight. And I come to, was it bothering you more in the late rounds than the early rounds? Because you started to shake it. Early rounds, it really wasn't bothering me too much. But on the, the sixth round, start hurt me, but I still was throwing it. So, you know, I wanted to go out there put on a good show and show how true champion fights. Ninth round, you stood and exchanged with Vargas a lot. Why? Did you want to take him out? Did you want to give the crowd a show? Give us your explanation. I wanted to show the you know, crowd that I can't fight in the inside a little bit. And um, uh, working on defense. I need to go back home and work on some defense with my father. Talk over some things with him and um, get things ready for my next fight. Before the last round, your dad whispered something in your ear and you say, I'll do it. try it for you, Dad. What did he say? He said, um, give, me a, give me a strong 12 round if you can. And I said, Dad, I'm going to try to give it all that I can. You know, I love you and uh, I know you're behind me 100%. All right, there's no secret that uh, you and your dad have had your differences outside of the ring. Did everything work inside of the ring and can... Can you work together inside of the ring and maybe repair things outside of the ring? Well, everything that happened on the outside of the ring was hearsay. I mean, I love my father more. I always love my father. And I always want my dad to be my trainer. I always want my dad to support me 100%, no matter what he says. I love my father. Give us your rating of this fight, Dad. I think it was a very, very good fight for, uh, you know, being laid out six months. And, um, you know, and um, not really having the right spine that we really need, but I mean, I thought he put a tremendous job, I think he threw a lot of punches, and, and like you said, about the, um, about his uh, defense, you know, he's been off a little bit, so, you know, he got to hit a little bit more than anticipated, but, you know, we don't go to the gym, we don't get it all together. It's no problem. Uh -huh. Is, is this where it's now the most fun for you, in the ring and in the gym, because that's where you are close? Well, this is my son, here we go, it's the world is said, in the paper, uh, in the media, around the world. This is my son, I love him, my blood run through this man. And like I said, it, it blood run through me. I mean, you may have different, everybody will have different, that's life. Nobody is perfect. He's young, to me right now he's young, right now to me, he's making big mistakes. But, hey, we all make mistakes. I made him, he's going to make him. Sometimes we pay more than the other guy. So, you know, I just hope some kind of way, and I pray that, hey, that everything will work out for him. But this is my son. I love him. We're going to be together forever. Just one last thing. Did you watch 
Corrales, Corrales fight. Give us your thoughts about him and about meeting him in a big showdown fight perhaps later this year. I'm looking forward to fighting Diego Corrales in the future. You know, hopefully um, we, can, we can build that fight up and um, man can fight and unify the titles. And I'm um, looking forward to fighting the WBA Junior Lightweight Champion next. And after that, me and Corrales can fight to unify the titles. Thank you very much.